Howdy, Possum Patty here, and it's Flip Through Friday. And which journal am I going to pick today? Today's journal flip is this big, chunky boho journal. And I think this was the first time I sewed in the signatures and then filled it up. And it got too fat. It got too, too chunky. That's why uh, the journal that I'm working on now, I'm gonna do the signatures and then sew them in so they don't get too big. So I wound up actually pasting some of the pages together because it was just too fat. It was ridiculously chunky. I mean, chunky is good, but this was ridiculous. All right, starting with the cover. This is material from an old skirt and the skirt had these little shiny bits on it and I cut them out, put them on. I did some stitching around on the material, different patterns with my sewing machine. I made a little cluster here. I added this awesome boho tassel trim. I'm trying to think what to call it. The skirt had elephants on it. I added some button there on the elephant. Another one of those little shiny bits there. Stitching all around. There's two signatures and I sewed them in and I put beads. And I used uh, wax thread. You can see a little bit here. Wax thread. And on the back, it's more of the same. Just sort of quilted out this material from my skirt with different kinds of stitching, different color threads. Added on a couple little extra pieces. And I ran that tassel trim across to the back. And it's just cardboard inside here. But I think on the front, and maybe the back too, I did put a little bit of this batting there's soft batting. And then it got too fat, too fat, too fat, too fat. So I haven't been through this in a while, so this is going to be fun for me. And this is tall and not very wide. So it's about six by a little over nine. It's a little over six by a little over nine, six by nine which is a fun size because you can fold a 12 by 12 paper and put it in here. So on the inside of the front cover, I have some scrapping paper there, some scrapbook paper. I made a pocket with some more paper and I put a little bit of this material from the skirt and I put this tassel trim and this is one of the elephants that I made from the inside of a tea box. The inside of the tea box has this pattern on it and I colored it in with markers and put them on here and gave them an eyeball. And I made a journaling card. Oh, I made a Mommy and Me journaling card. This is around 1955. And this is a postcard underneath here. Did sewing around the edge. Looks like I distressed it with pink. Pink sparkly ribbon. Some of that yellow material and a little tag, I think Zena gave this to me, added on some lace over here and just made a giant tag to go in the pocket. A lot of pinks and yellows. So I went back and did some of this over again because I had just made it like a, to be a journal then I changed it into a smash book. I think this, yep, this is a little stuck in there. I think Zena gave me this too. And I put a picture of peacocks on the back and put some sparkle Mod Podge. That's why it's sticky Mod Podge. I'm going to have to put some uh, powder on there because that's sparkle Mod Podge. I made a fun. I don't know, what do you call this when it's on a tag? 
tag tassel, all different yarns. And this is a die cut I got with a rose. And this is a Dollar Tree sticker and some material. I'm going to leave this out, put some powder on that one, and put a little ruffle there. And on this side, this is another die cut I had gotten. And everything is stuck. No, I just need to bend the page. Oh, I got some butterfly here. Great Spangled Flitterary. That's from a nature book, die cuts, that mini, mini pom-pom boho. I think that's from the Dollar Tree. Another tag with some material and a rose. Well, these are flowers I got at the Dollar Tree. I pull them off the plastic stems and I glue them down and put a little jewel in the middle. Oh, and this is a picture I took of this butterfly. And this was at Audubon Camp in Connecticut, mm, probably back in 1996, maybe. Put one of my little elephants there, a little boho trim, sticking with the whole boho thing, but just putting in memories and pictures. And this is a quote from E.E. E. Cummings, in just spring when the world is mud luscious, it's spring when the world is puddle wonderful. And I always had this picture of this little girl splashing around in her boots, and I just saved that picture because I loved it. So I added it to the page, and it looks like this has got sparkle Mod Podge on it too, at least up here a little bit. And this is a sticker from Michaels. I put a little jewel on there. Oh, and this is just regular notebook paper that I had colored with watercolor and put some um, stenciling on there, sort of a tone on tone stenciling. And this is about when I saw the blue-gray gnat catcher bird in my yard, darting about on the stone wall. And this is from a bird book, May, sitting on the front porch watching the little bird hunt for insects. And this is again, um, this is graph paper on this side. And pink, I think this is graph paper too. Yeah, this is graph paper too, not notebook paper. I just didn't see the other lines. Um, with some bird stenciling there. So this page is all about the little bird I saw. A feather sticker and some bits of yarn, eyelash yarn there. This is a Dollar Tree sticker, a die. Inside, I'm recording my turtle rescue. May 23rd, and it was a painted turtle, and I picked him off, up off the road, put him on the side of the road, put in one of my elephants, some yellow ribbon, some yellow material, a little flower die cut that was given to me by Dolores, some trim from a paper. And doing a page, this is just memory keeping at this point. These are old photos of my two stepdaughters many, many, many years ago. And did like a little beach page. This is them in front of the lighthouse. And I had this lighthouse sticker. And these little mermaid drops from the Dollar Tree. Some more stickers. There's a carousel at Lighthouse Point in Bridgeport. Took them on the carousel. And this is a memory from the Delaware Art Museum. I love this statue. Put some bling some glitter ribbon, little heart. Die cut some little flowers down there. And on this side, this was an embroidery piece that my this sister made many, many years ago. Oh, the cat's banging on the door. So she had a photo and she put on this material and she did all this embroidery around here. And then these words, yes, the answer lies within you, so why not take a look now? And this was her wedding day. And this is a butterfly off an old blouse and I did some of that silly stitch around it. Got some of that blue graph paper. Well, it's white graph paper. I watercolored it blue because this goes nice with these blue flowers on this side. 
These flowers are from Dolores. She got married May 29, 2010. And more about elephants. Turn out. This is a story. When I was a kid going to Grandma's house, I knew we had to turn at the elephant. The Elephant Hotel is now the Town Hall in Summers, New York. And there was a picture of an elephant. Oh, here it is. So when we got to the elephant, I know we had to take a turn. And there's a hotel, which is now the Town Hall. It had a pedestal with an elephant statue at the top of it. Somebody gave me this little paper clip with a tassel. I have ribbons. When I decided to make this a flying elephant, gave him some dragonfly wings because we have a dragonfly here on the card. This is a die cut, layered up some stuff there. So I just wrote down the story about the Elephant Hotel in Summers, New York. Some memory from when I was a kid. Also, Bridgeport, Connecticut, where I lived, they had the Barnum Museum and the Barnum Festival every year in July. I have another dragonfly, elephant, elephant fly, whatever you want to call it. Little elephant, I gave him wings. And there's my son is actually standing under that paper mache elephant. I did a good job in this. Look at all these different shaped pages. Uh, let's see, rose-breasted grosbeak at the bird feeder. So I'm just always note my birds and my flowers, the changing of the seasons. I got material, got a, a paper flower, a little bling in the middle, more of that graph paper I painted. And this was an ATC card. Did I write down who gave it to me? Yes, I did. It's on the inside. This is from Wanda, and I put a picture of Wanda. And her little eye candy in there. This little bear came from a package she sent me. And this was the ATC. One of the ATCs she made she sent me. I just love this paper with this stripes in the background. And these flowers over here sort of all goes together but clashes. Paper flowers. Uh, I, I glued pages together. That's why I'm trying to turn, but you can't turn because it just got too fat and I couldn't fill up all the pages because there were just too many pages and it was too fat. Old, old picture of my mom at the beach. Old postcard from my mom. Seashells. So I have this paper with the shells and I put a shell over here as a closure. Another beach card. I use a little Velcro to keep the cards closed. This is from my crafty friend Rosa. It's a picture of my grandma holding a string of fish. So I don't know when that was, the 30s, the 40s, 1930s, 1940s. I put a little fish there. I got lots of layers of ribbon and paper and trim. And then her name is Ruth. And then I saw this in a book. It said, for Ruth's sake, and had this old picture here. So I just made like a glue page, kind of, some florals. And I put the old, uh, maybe it was a magazine page from one of my old magazines with some Mod Podge on top of it. I think there's one in here. Yep. Mod Podge sticking a little bit. So this is an old almanac. Got glitter ribbon and yarn and material. And uh, my daughter-in-law gave me some soap called Dark Moon Soap. It has like a little stone in it. It had this little window. And it fit perfect for the moon on this material. It all kind of went together really nicely. And my sister Denise took a picture of a full moon in May, which is the flower moon. Another butterfly from that old blouse I had. All kinds of ribbons and different papers. These flowers are from a card, a birthday card, I think. And this is the center of the first signature. 
and this was an elephant that I colored in. I believe there's a video on every page in this book, and you, if you've been with me for a while, you've seen every page in this book. But some people would rather watch a flip than have you go through every single page individually. So that's why I'm doing this flip. Sort of a look back at everything that I did. And I got trim and I got that little boho ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I think the colors go really nice with this. This is so fat you can't even like open up the pages. And this is from Zena. She made me this beautiful boho tag. And I put it in here. And this was a card from my sister. Had this peacock feather on it. Love that. A little Velcro there. Oh, I never thought I looked like my grandmother until I saw these two pictures side by side. Do I have them in here? And just a picture of me and my grandmother. And I put some mulberry paper and some flowers and fun, fun yarn and ribbons. This is a repro of a vintage card. And this is just off a birthday card, I think. But I thought they went together well. And this is another card with these little kitties down here. I think this is another repro. I got this really shiny... I don't even remember now what it was from. I think packaging. It came off some packaging or something. Purple in the background. So I love these pages. Purple. There's my Aunt Fanny Hortense. She looks like a movie star in that picture. And this is from an old magazine, like a love story. And I got some bling on there. And this is from an old magazine. It's about spring cleaning. And then I have this old picture of my mom. Spring cleaning. She's got her babushka on. She's got her dust, dust mop there. And I made this bow. Put some bling on there. So these are sisters. And I saw two hawks in the yard, so I did a little nature journaling here. And let's see, uh, some more nature journaling. This is from Edith Holden. I got some blingy ribbon and just nature journaling about the buttercups in the yard. And is that next? Yeah. Uh, this is an eagle. I believe this is a postcard from an artist in Pennsylvania. Not the eagle I saw, but I wrote down here that I did see an eagle in Canterbury. Bald eagle, full-grown bald, bald eagle swished by the car. And I put some of these butterflies that were gifted to me from the Dollar Tree. And this is just a page. And my sister wrote a quote from Alice in Wonderland. She sent that to me when she was living in Denver. I have some more of those butterflies. Got paper back there. And my son with a bunny. And here's a bunny from... Uh, might be from a book. It's like a book page. And this... Ruffle was gifted to me, and I added on bling. Oh, here's a bunny card. And this is from a nature book about bunnies. I kind of colored in the bunny a little bit. Went around the edge with some ink. Made a little pocket here with bling. Some ribbon with some bunnies and lots of fun yarn. And I think this is from a card. Whoops. Fumble fingers. Oh, I, in May I was watching the cottontail every morning on the front lawn. He ate all my pansies. He ate all my dianthus. But I still love to watch him. And this is a story back when my brother was taking care of my rabbits at the daycare for me. And this is a thank you note from somebody. Back when I was growing sunflowers. If you want to hear the whole story about the rabbits, you're going to have to go back and <laughs> watch when I made this page. Because it's a funny one. 
Last week in May, bright orange poppies in bloom. So I was driving around town. I saw so many people had these bright orange poppies. So I went out and bought one and planted it in the yard. And this is a sticker from the Dollar Tree and material and paper. And here's a dried flower, some sunglasses that were a sticker. This is my niece. I just thought this went really cute with her picture. I think I glued some pages together there too. Homegrown tomatoes. Oh, there's a song called Homegrown Tomatoes, Homegrown Tomatoes. Only two things that money can't buy. That's true love and homegrown tomatoes. He wrote that song in 1981, and this is a picture of my son in 1981. This is food packaging, a little ribbon there. Got some denim in the background, some polka dotted paper. There's some denim. This is old jeans over here, I believe. Put some bling on the denims. Guy Clark, and over here it says Guy Clark's Homegrown Tomatoes. That's when his song came out. This is a repro of an old vintage card. Little boy digging in the garden. I thought that was so cute together. Some more, there's a viney ribbon. And in here I have these tags of things that I planted. Some of my Mother's Day cards. Well, they're plants from Mother's Day, but I saved the cards that went with them. So I planted a bleeding heart and some bicolor yucca. And Jack of Diamonds. So these are all perennials, so the yucca are still up, but the other ones I don't think will be back until next spring. So hopefully they'll make it through the winter. Oh, it's a picture. National Brothers Day. Oops, sorry. Um, May 24th. I planted some blue forget-me-nots. This frame is a sticker. Family is a sticker. These are from the Dollar Tree. And these are my two brothers and their Aunt Fanny. Forget-me-not. Do not forget your family. I gotta change my battery. Stand by. It's Brother's Day, and there's a picture of my brother when he was in Vietnam. And this opens up with some Velcro and some more pictures of him. And this picture, oh, well, this was on his birthday too. It says, It's your birthday. Hope you find what you're looking for. And he's actually micro shelling at the beach. Looking for these teeny, 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 tiny shells that you can barely see with your eyes. 1963, 1968, put silly hats on him. And there's an old picture of him that my father took and developed in his dark room, which was in one of our closets. I got forget-me-nots, and I got elephants over there that do not forget, right? May 21st, found the Jack in the Pulpit. This is from the Edith Holden book. I made a little note that the jack o lanterns oh, not the Jack-o-Lanterns, the Jack in the Pulpits were blooming. Too close to Halloween now, everything is Jack-o-Lantern. And this is just from Edith Holden talking about the violets that were blooming in the woods. And here we got some packaging, some food packaging. This is me, my Aunt Fanny, my sister, um, Bush Gardens in Virginia. We're stomping on tomatoes. This is 1980. And I put in pasta sauce over here. This is a card, I love this page. Sparkles through and through. And this kitty with the sparkles and the feathers and the glasses. And I added bling and a little picture of my sister down here when she was taking ballet lessons or dance lessons. I put some sparkle Mod Podge on the ribbon. What is this? The curtain over here. Put some half rounds. Tulips. 
for Cherish. This is a sticker from the Dollar Tree. And I got Rick Rack. And I got a picture of flowers. And you open it up. And these are die cut butterflies and some material. And this is my son and my daughter in law, and myself, for Mother's Day. We went to Ryan's New York Deli. And this is their takeout menu. And I just blinged up part of it. Kept that as a memento. And this is back when I lived on the farm in Pennsylvania. This is a picture of one of my gardens down here. My fairy statue that I still have. As long as one has a garden, one has a future. And as long as one has a future, one is alive. This is from a magazine. Old picture mom. Two Chuck, that's my father. And let's see. This is just all glued down. This is a tag from Xena, I believe. Variegated tulips. Mom birthday card. Um, this is my son and I, 1980. A picture of tulips my son gave me this year. I blinged it up. Put some die cuts. Some writing from my son. <laughs> we went to the garden barn. Everybody's wearing a mask. My son and daughter-in-law. Oh, this is a Mother's Day card from my son when he was little, but I added all these little things to it. And this is a picture of him when he was young and our little dog waggies. And I did add these flowers, but this was here. Something to cheer you up on your day. Put a little happy face there. Add a little bow. There's so much on each page, that's why it's too fat. And I actually had to take stuff out and glue pages together. This is wallpaper. Lilacs remind me of my grandmother. And I got a shabby rose from somebody. Made a little cluster there. Grandma. It says, according to the floral calendar, lilacs bloom on Mother's Day. And I remember the lilacs blooming outside Grandma's kitchen window. Pretty bling to go with those lilacs. And there's little possum Patty at Grandma's house. Noted that there were goldfinches at the bird feeder. And a distal fink is a gold finch. And there's one my grandmother painted on the door. It's hard to see, but it's right there. That's a distal fink, which is a gold finch. We'll put lots of flowers and bling in this book. Wow, look at this. Lots of material. There's a picture of a birdhouse with morning glories from my old farm. Dollar Tree stickers, some food packaging, because you know I love my food packaging. Oh, I made some chocolate chip cookies. Bohemian Gypsum. I think this is from Zena. So I made a little pocket with this. Bling and ribbons. Gluten-free cookie mix. Put a little elephant on there. There's another one of those King Arthur seals. Some eyelash underneath, a little peacock feather, a little bling on there. It was a boho journal, so there's lots of bling and yarn and stuff like that and tassels. Turkey alert. Turkey's in the yard. May 2021. May, yeah. May 2021. Say it correctly. And a peacock material I bought, and I put bling on all the little eyes on the tail. Put little tassels there. And some, um, I bought this material and this material. I believe these were at Walmart. Peacock feathers, and this was an old magazine. And this is a peacock feather I drew several years ago. But I added bling. Oh, and in the pocket, there's a real peacock feather. Look at that. And that's what's in the pocket. 
a real peacock feather. Material and bling everywhere. Bling, 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 bling. This is the bling book. It's from an old magazine, 1892. Old magazine. Children's fashions for May. This is material I got at a yard sale. Oh, and this is the uh, white bristle nut hatch in the yard. And this is a cowbird that was in the yard. Just layered up with all kinds of good stuff. And this one has flying bees. What's the buzz, it says. I got my little bees flying. It's from Xena. And back here I have it's blueberries. Is this pocket? No, just a little goldfinch in the pocket and some blueberries. Oh, and I think on when I did the video for this page, I tell the whole story of the bumblebees and the blueberry flowers. Oh, here it is. Bumblebees are the more efficient pollinators of blueberry blooms. So all this matches that. Got some rainbow rickrack there, some boho trim. This is a picture of rhubarb that I painted. Oh, I dreamed of rhubarb. To dream of rhubarb growing denotes that pleasant entertainments will occupy your time for a while. So I dreamed of some rhubarb, so I decided to sketch out a little piece of rhubarb. I planted some trump trumpet honeysuckle, and the hummingbirds love it, love it. And these are little Dollar Tree hummingbird stickers. Every page has lots and lots of layers. There's my niece at the beach, some stickers. I added all this bling to these pirate stickers, and also painted some gold on there, gold gouache, shells, some more beach pictures. Oh, this is my sister, that's her daughter. It's an old postcard from the beach, just material and bling and pearls and stickers. Oh, and more, more beach stuff. It's the four sisters. Not the swimming pool. I made a mermaid tail out of this material. Lots of mermaid bubbles. An old mermaid card. Put that mermaid material. I cut the edge so you can see all the scales. And more. Oh, this is a die cut. My, this is when I got my bubble die cut. My bubble die cut and my mermaid bubbles. And my sister and some old wallpaper. And bugs. Oh, I saw a bug on the front porch. I didn't know what it was. I had to look it up. It was a carrion beetle. It's the same colors of like a bumblebee. And some bling bling from Xena. And I had punched out some flowers. And I saved this. Put it on there. Some trim. Some shabby roses. Oh, I think these are from Janet Kay. These are from Janet Kay. Oh, this is the ATCs that she made me. I have some more ATCs I need to put in a journal. Layers of trim. Memorial Day, remember our heroes. My son with a little sailor suit. May 26th, we went to Rocky Neck State Park. And I saw an unusual boat. I had to look up what it was. But it's a clammer. It's a Long Island clammer. I had this sticker that said clam bake, so I stuck that on there. And this is the back. But I try to make this a memory keeper, nature journal, journal journal, bird watch journal, glue book. Some of these pages I'm just gluing things in, like a glue book. Sewing. This is basically a glue page. Glue page. Glue page. But I do a little journaling. Food, old pictures, cards, just lots and lots of fun memories and journaling and gluing. 
But doing boho is fun because you go crazy with feathers and yarn and all kinds of stuff. So that is it. That is quite the project there. Quite the project. And it got too fat. That's why in this one I'm going to try to do all the pages until it gets to just the right size and then sew them in. Because this got to be ridiculous. Well, thank you for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling and thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye now.